Good morning. Hey, everyone, look up here. Hi. Welcome back to school. Are you guys excited to be here? There's a lot of energy from the front couple of pews. Not so much that, that back half. Hey, welcome to chapel. Welcome back to school. For those who don't know, I am Pastor Sam. I'm so excited to be leading your chapel. For all of our returning students, welcome back. We're so glad to see you again. For all of our new students, welcome to Calvary. We are so happy to have you. Parents, thank you so much for joining us for chapel today. All right, we are going to begin our chapel with everybody standing. We're going to begin with our invocation. This is where we invite Jesus to be part of our time here together today. So we make our beginning in the name of God the Father, the name of God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, you can stay standing for our opening song. All right, we are going to be singing, I Want to Be Like the Father. Now, I know we've got some new students, so we're going to teach you this song. We're going to sing, I, 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 I want to be like the Father. I, 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 I want to be like the Son. I, 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 I want to be like the Spirit and hear Him say, Job well done, my good and faithful one. Cha-cha-cha, my good and faithful one. Cha-cha-cha. My good and faithful one, well done, 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 well done. We we all wumble away. Now when you're doing the well done part, you're gonna start as high as you can get, and then you wanna be all the way down on your toes, and then you're gonna shoot back up and do we we all wumble away. Alright, here we go. Are you guys gonna sing nice and loud? All right, here we go. Here we go. I, 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 I want to be like the Father. I, 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 I want to be like the Son. I, 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 I want to be like the Spirit and hear Him say, Job well done, my good and faithful one. My good and faithful one. My good and faithful one. Well done, 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 well done. We, 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 Take a seat. And for all of us today is, do you like stories? Raise your hand if you like to hear a good story. All right, I'm going to tell you some stories. You guys ready? All right, here's where the story begins with this guy right here. Do you guys know who this is? All right, this is Captain America. Our story starts with Captain America. And actually, before we have Captain America, raise your hand, can anybody tell me who we have before Captain America? Who do we have? Hmm, he's thinking, he's thinking, he's thinking. Maybe one of our older kids can tell me who. Nope, nope. Who is Captain America before he's Captain America, Damon? Steve Rogers, right? So the story starts with this guy named Steve Rogers. And Steve Rogers, he wants to be big and strong, but is he big and strong? 
No, he's not. And he has this experiment that happens to him. And he goes into the experiment as Steve Rogers, and he comes out as who? Captain America, right? And so for a while, we've got Captain America, and he's, he's fighting crime, he's, he's beating bad guys, all that. And then Captain America, he goes away for a little bit. And then somebody else comes, because we need another superhero. So maybe you've seen this guy before. This is Iron Man, right? His name in real life is Tony Stark. Now, Tony Stark, he's this guy. He's super, super smart. He's got lots and lots of money. He knows how to build things. And so he decides he's going to build the Iron Man suit, right? And so now you've got Tony Stark as Iron Man. He's flying around the city. He's beating bad guys. He's doing all the same things that Captain America was doing. All right. Now, at the same time, you've got this guy. Who's this? This is Thor. Now, while you've got Iron Man protecting planet Earth, you've got Thor, who's from a totally different world. Does anybody know where Thor is from? Shout it out if you know it. He's from Asgard, a whole different world. And he is their superhero. Okay, so let's hear about our next guy. Let's hear his story. Who's this? The Hulk. The Hulk's real name is what? Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner is a scientist. Right before he becomes the Hulk, he is a scientist. And this experiment goes wrong. And he's got these, um, these gamma rays that kind of wash over him. And when does, the, when does he go from Bruce Banner to the Hulk? When he, gets, when, he gets when he gets angry or when he's got a lot of emotion, he goes from Bruce Banner, the scientist, to this huge, green, monstrous Hulk. All right, so that's the story of the Hulk. Let's hear the story of our next guy. Who's this? Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Now, Hawkeye has a story that we don't, we don't hear all that often. Hawkeye, he's really, really good with the bow and the arrow. Does anybody know where Hawkeye became so good with the bow and arrow? Does anybody know? Hawkeye became so good from the bow and arrow? From the circus! He was trained in the circus. And then one day, he's in trouble, and guess who comes and saves him? Any idea? Not himself. Iron Man! Yeah, he sees Iron Man come and save himself and all these other people, and he thinks, man, I've got all these abilities with my bow and arrow. Maybe I could be a superhero just like Iron Man. All right, and here's our last one. Who's this? Black Widow. Black Widow. Right? And her name is Natasha. And Natasha, from an early age, she's growing up in a whole different country. She's growing up in Russia. She's being trained to be a what? Anybody know? A spy. She's going to be a spy. And then she gets teamed up with all of these people, and she decides, hey, I don't want to hurt people. I want to help people. And she becomes a superhero just like these other five people. Now, you just heard six different stories right? You just heard six different stories. But when you see all six of these people together, what do you think of them as? This is the story of the Avengers. It's a story that has... All right, everybody look up at me. Everybody look at me. Shh. All right, for the next minute, we're going to make sure that we're not talking. Just for a minute, we're going to listen. This is the story of the Avengers. It's a story that's made up of a bunch of other stories. And so when you see all these stories from all these different people put together, you get one big story called The Avengers. This year, we're going to be learning in the Bible. The Bible is this big book, right? And it's got all of these smaller, these little stories. But guess what? When we put all of the stories together, we get one story. Who's that the story of? Jesus. It's the story of Jesus. We learn about all of these people in the Bible, and all of them are telling the story of one person, and his name 
is Jesus. So our theme verse this year comes from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. It says, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Now, for some of our younger students, there are some big words in there, right? There are some big words. There are two words that are in bold. The first one is chosen. You guys have all been chosen. You have been picked. Jesus says, I know you, and I love you, and I choose you. Now, what has he chosen you for? He, he's chosen you to proclaim his excellencies, which is a fancy way he has chosen you to tell his story. So our theme for this year, does anybody know what our school theme is this year? Raise your hand if you know our school theme. What is it, Savannah? It's, a, it's on your shirt? That's not a very good theme. Our theme is part of his story. So this year, every time we come to chapel, we're going to be talking about this theme. We're going to start all the way at the beginning of the Bible where God creates the heavens and the earth. We're going to go all the way to Jesus being born. We're going to hear about Jesus going back up to heaven. We're going to learn about all of these different stories. And as we learn about all of these smaller stories, guess who we're going to be learning about? Jesus! Jesus, right? All these small stories build into one story, the story of Jesus. So will you guys pray with me? We're going to do a repeat after me prayer. Dear Jesus, Thank you for choosing me and making me part of your story. Amen. All right. At this time, we are going to recognize some of our baptisms. This is something that we do at the beginning of every month. So if I call your name, we're going to have you come and stand right around the altar, just anywhere up here. So if I call your name, please come stand up here. Jason Bolton, Luke Evans, Alyssa Gaskins, Evan Presoff, Oliver Strom, Damon Honebrink, Hendrick Scheidt, Joshua N. from 4-5 Full Day, Theodore Reefsteck, Pastor Ebert, Mrs. Speldy, Mrs. Skojak, Mrs. Skeens, those are all of our July baptisms and then our, our August baptisms. Again, if I call your name, please come up here and stand. Noah Alexander, Benjamin Kamen, Maddox Engelking, Landon Waterman, Avon Watson, Connor Strom, Terrell Jackson, Mrs. Tremell, Mrs. Armeo, Mrs. Heaney, and Mrs. Waterman. We've got plenty of room on this side as well. All right, now that we've got just about everybody up here, you're going to look at the screen. The leader part is going to be read by me, and then we're going to have everybody here, even all of you out here, everybody else is going to read the part that says all. The Apostle Paul reminds us, do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried therefore by... Buried therefore with him by baptism into death, in order that Jesus, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. In baptism, God has adopted us as his own child and called us to follow after him in faith. We therefore now reaffirm our faith using Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May our Lord bless and keep you all and continue in this Christian faith. 
live each day by the riches of His grace prepared by God for every challenge. Amen. All right, and then finally, this is the part where you get to have lots of energy, right? Because we're going to say, this is the day that the Lord has made, and then all of us are going to say, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Do you think we should sound really sad and tired when we say that? No, this is the day that Jesus has made. We all get to come back to school. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. All right, here we go. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. All right, thank you guys. You guys can all head back to your seats as we continue on with the Lord's Prayer. And we're going to stand up as we say this together. So we join in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. All right, we're going to remain standing. We're going to sing our next song, How Great Is Our God. Here we go. The splendor of a king. You guys can take a seat. All right, at this time, Mr. Rensner, if you'd like to come forward with any announcements. Good morning. Welcome to the start of our 73rd school year at Calvary Lutheran Church and School. We're so glad that you're here. We welcome our parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and friends as well to the beginning of this new school year. As Pastor Sam shared, part of his story is our theme. 
And the thing that I like about that is that it unifies us. No matter if you've been here since preschool and now you're in eighth grade, or if you came from far away or right next door, if you're young, old, girl, boy, no matter what, we are all part of God's story. We are all included in his book, the book of eternal life. And that unifies us. That makes us all one community of believers. And that's our desire this school year. As you look at each other as community of believers, as part of God's story, that we use God's gifts to their fullest. We celebrate one another and all the different gifts and abilities that we have as part of his story. And we thank the Lord for the opportunity to gather in this place to learn and to grow together. As you look around the chapel area, you'll see new faces. We all know what it's like to be new, to be that first day when everyone else seems to have been here. So it's your job to make everybody feel welcome today. For those students that are new to Calvary, if they don't know your name, it's your fault. Make sure they know your name, make sure they get to know you. Invite them, encourage them, and as we move through the school year, we have 180 days to celebrate that same gift of God. What I'd like to do very quickly is to introduce staff, to put names with faces. So if we could start and have all the teachers and teacher aides stand up. We celebrate God's gifts in these folks for the, all their hard work and effort to provide for our needs. We'll can celebrate everyone's name when we're done. Kindergarten, Miss LaFara. And Mrs. Turner is not here today, but she will join in kindergarten as aide. First grade, Miss Cedar. Second grade, Mrs. Springer. Third grade, Mrs. Huntington with Mrs. Bolton. First grade with Mrs. Miller. Where'd I leave off? Fourth grade, we have Mrs. Moore in one fourth grade and we welcome Mrs. Strom in the other fourth grade. Fifth grade, Mr. Smith. Sixth grade, Mrs. Fabian. Seventh grade, Mr. Honerbrink. Eighth grade, two eighth grades, Mrs. Schultz and Mrs. Trammell. And Mrs. Davis will be in the resource room. Miss Beach in the library, as well as seventh and eighth grade literature, as well as K to five computer, as well as uh, what else we got cooking. <laughs> Mrs. Rensner with K to two. Mr. Scheidt is new to us this year as a teacher teacher. He substituted a lot, we all know his face, but he'll be teaching kindergarten through fifth grade STEM science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, Mrs. Brionis is in the back too. She'll be joining Mrs. Springer in second grade. She's back again. And we also have a new face. If you could all sit down except for Miss McIntyre, Mariah McIntyre. You'll get to know her more. She is here to help serve us to provide needs and resources for everyone. So when we have our 6th to 8th grade convocation following chapel, she will address even more, and you'll get to know her. So welcome to Calvary. So glad to have you. We met Pastor Sam. If he could stand up. Pastor Ebert is over there with Pastor Reefstack, our three pastors on staff. We thank and praise God for them as they share God's word with us each and every day. We also have Mrs. Hyatt, our assimilator welcoming people to the church and who did i miss mrs speldy are you in the house all right very good so let's thank the good lord for these servants by showing them our appreciation Much work is done over the summer months to get us ready for today. Floors cleaned, things changed, built, you name it. And you see Mr. Steve Harrison around as well. We thank God for him as he works to help keep the place running smoothly and giving us the facilities that we enjoy. Very, very good. So we're all part of his story, whether we're teachers, parents, students, 
We all enjoy that. At this time, I'd like to invite forward Mr. Schwark as he brings in the new school year. Let's welcome Mr. Schwark. All right, are you guys ready for this? Yeah! We do this every year. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah! All right, M much, much better. Uh, we're going on our 73rd year. Unfortunately, Mrs. Schwark, who always rings the bell, is not able to be here today. She's a little bit under the weather, but she wants to tell all the young kids that play outside she's going to be keeping an eye on you. So just be, be careful on what you do out there. So, But without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get this school year started. So with that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three. Eighth graders, do you got that? I'm just asking because, anyway. All right, we are going to go ahead and try this one time and one time only. So with that being said, ready? One, two, three. God blessings to all of you this year. Mr. Schwark that rang the bell is, of course, Mr. and Mrs. Schwark's son. He went to school here at Calvary many years ago. And, uh, well, let's just say, let's say decades. Uh, the one thing that I wanted to mention, you know, I mentioned Mr. Harris and all the work he does. Uh, God has blessed us with these facilities. It's your job to help take care of them. In the restrooms, in the hallways, sitting at your desks, we take care of what God has given to us so that it can be used for others as well. So a blessed year to you as we celebrate being part of God's story. Any other announcements? All righty, have a great school year, kindergarten through fifth grade.